Awesome. Well, let's get into the topic at hand then today. And that was really, like I said earlier, what spurred on this conversation was this a fantastic LinkedIn post that you shared about your experiences as the first product marketing hire at Fiverr. And obviously you've already spoken um, to some of that, but I want to dig a bit deeper. And, you know, in that post, you mentioned that a key part of helping internal teams understand what product marketing is, was to also highlight what it wasn't. So I'm curious, why did you decide to position product marketing against teams like brand, product management, and retention marketing? And what were some of the key distinctions that you made? So that's a, yeah, that's a really good question. Um, within five, and like I said earlier, when there's a void, there is no void, right? So even though there wasn't a product marketing role by definition, you had different teams, different functions, different individuals who were kind of touching on, on different areas of product marketing, on doing things that are similar to product marketing, but not exactly. Um, so specifically the three teams that you mentioned, retention, uh, brand, and products. I'll try to kind of touch on each one. Uh, so our brand team uh, at Fiverr that, are, you know, they're located, they're based in the US and, you know, their role is really, we have a, a big brand team and their role is really to position Fiverr as, as, as a brand, as a, as a, as a, um, you know, as as the we, we have the vision and the mission and 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 all of the the key values that we want to promote as a, as a company, and all of the sub products that fall under Fiverr. So for me, I think firstly I had to really distinguish between brand positioning and product positioning. Where brand positioning, as I just mentioned, it's all about how is the 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 five the perception of Fiverr and building that trust around Fiverr and all the products, all the sub brands that come under Fiverr because Fiverr is a big company. We've acquired lots of companies also. So it's a bit more macro. And then product positioning, which is zooming in on a specific product, for example, the core marketplace or Fiverr business, which is where I'm at, and then differentiating that product from our competitors from our competitors, uh, build understanding the specific target audience, the specific personas uh, of that product. So it's it, for me, it was very important to kind of establish the differences between the two and to show that, you know, I'm not here to step on your toes. You're not here to step on my toes. You you guys are doing a great job, but here is a gap. And one of those gaps is, is kind of uh, fine tuning our product positioning, not our brand positioning. So that was important because I got a lot of questions around that which I needed to clarify. That's on the brand side. And I can tell you that when building the product positioning for Fiverr Business, I also worked very closely uh, with the brand team and they were very much involved in the process uh, of you know, aligning with that. So that's on the brand. Uh, the retention team at Fiverr is also a really big retention, is also a very big uh, and dominant team. And actually today, some of them have transitioned into a product marketing role, because of that understanding of what is product marketing and what is retention. So the retention team at Fiverr were, are very much, they're also divided into buyers and sellers, freelancers and clients. And they are really focused uh, on driving growth, uh, driving buyer or seller growth, driving the spend per buyer, uh, doing, building all, executing and planning all kinds of campaigns to increase um, the lifetime value of the customer. So their role is very retention focused. And of course, some of them were also touching on areas of product marketing. For example, when there is a release, a product release, they were communicating those product releases. So I think it was, again, trying to clarify which areas are classic retention focused only and which areas are more in the areas, you know, like product releases and maybe some messaging work, which areas are more product marketing and how can we differentiate and centralize those efforts under one sort of hat or under one team that's called product marketing. And then finally, product. So the product team at Fiverr, because the product isn't, uh, it's, not, it's not complex, right? It's not a cybersecurity product. So a lot of our product team 
you know, they, they do a lot of uh, product-led growth initiatives, which today we hear a lot. And I know that on LinkedIn, I see a lot of people talking about whether product-led growth is product marketing, whether it's product. You know, I really see it as a collaboration uh, between the, the PMM and the PM. And that's, and that's also what I communicated internally. How can we build a better collaboration? How can we collaborate and partner better with product to ensure that there is to, to really maximize product adoption? So with the product team, it was more about um, building a, a stronger partnership, uh, introducing new frameworks like uh, such as a product uh, release framework, where we work together from from development, from product design and development, all the way until product uh, uh, product launch and expansion, and working and and collaborating from start to finish, in order to um, to, to to really align on who the target audience is, on who, uh, what the use cases are, and how do we want to bring this new feature or this new product to, to market?